<laughs> All righty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Heck yeah, I can fight. Some kind of a karate master, huh? No big deal. <laughs> yeah, looks like I'm the karate master now. No big deal. Sure. Tell your friends about me, huh? Okay, pal. Spread some of that good fortune around. <laughs> sure. But I gotta try out Mr. Punch him up. Good luck. You, uh, you got another quarter on you? What do I look like? A bank? Okay, old timer. What do I got coming my way? You have a question? Think old Joe will ever make good on that 50 cents I just invested in him? Can Jay Jump Pai? Gosu Ni can dollar shum? Well, that is a flower of some sort. Evil?Huh?。What's that supposed to mean? Hey, buddy! What the hell are you talking about? Heesh. Hey, we should probably make our way back to the ship. Don't want to be the Joker's left uh, come behind. Come on, I just need one more try at this hey, sucker. Hey, gotta get back. Like now.
work in the brig and keep him there. few moments later. What a dick. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Oh, just get me out of here already. What the hell is going on up there? Heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here.
What the hell? Uh, what was that? Another body. Wonder who it is. Shit. Buckley. Last time I saw him, he was fine. I mean, he was even jonesing for extra security detail. At least it's not one of us. like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings. <laughs> you look like a mess on wheels, Chuck. I ain't the only one. Great. Good company. Let's just get up on that. Yeah. Fine. Agreed. Yeah. Hey, Chuck? You see that kid over there? Uh... No? You feeling all right?
Friday! Is anyone there? Hello, can anyone out there hear me? Oh, come on! Come on, damn it! What the hell is that? Won't you spare me over till another Ah, you're back. Interesting. Excuse me a moment. You've heard, I suppose, that there's been an adjustment. It's a one door closes, another opens sort of thing. Yes, the story's been told, but the truth of that story isn't fixed. Far from it. You see, a story can change a great deal when told from a... Uh, different perspective. A chance to turn back the clock, walk in different shoes, make fresh choices. Perhaps take a few risks this time. Raise a little hell. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. 
So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. Or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Dude, of course. Yeah? I'm like practically a dive master, man. But I gotta tell you, I'm tough. No special treatment. You gotta do exactly what I say. So I gotta do what you tell yep. me? Yep. So you're like my boss? Kinda, yeah. You gonna pay me? <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Little bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Dude, you know I'm not like the best around new people. Whatever. Just shut up. You gotta loosen up. Oh, come on. Just say yeah to everything on this trip. Wait. Trust me. I want you to have a good time. Okay, well, what if somebody asked me to do something stupid like run around naked or something? Metaphorically. Just go with it. All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... When you're in medical school, it'd be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey! So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Hey! <clears throat> oh, <laughs> sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey. What's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me? Hey. Wanna crack the cold one? I hardly even knew you were gone. Hmm, as a little girl, I always dreamed that one day a man would sweep me off my feet and tell me he hardly even knew I was gone. <laughs> so, first dive, you and me? I... If you can keep up this time. Ah, damn, Julia, I meant to tell you. What? I kind of told Brad I'd take him on the first dive. Brother thing, you know? Really? Alex? You promised. I... You know what? Fine. Whatever. <sighs> <laughs> well, where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Uh, you're selling, I'm buying. That's it, get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, wanna go lie down? Yeah. 
You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Oh, boy. Let's see those hot picks. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive camp. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late... Well, hot diggity dong. Look at this. Alex! Come here! I think we got something. Look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Uh, kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss! We found a plane! Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Look, for all anyone knows, we were just diving and then found it. So who cares? Guys, look, I think we got to listen to our experienced Beautiful, smart, and beautiful captain here. If she says we should do things Connie, the right- please, I didn't bring you on this trip to get laid. Wait, what? <laughs> no, 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 it's not, I, I, I'm just saying she's right, not because she's beautiful. I mean, she is beautiful, but that's like a coincidence. She's the captain. Look, we paid for this dive, generously, we're diving. You're the client, but if anything goes wrong, I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro.
Oh, Captain, my Captain. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. At least you showed me a little respect. Even if you're the only one in the group. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. My sis can be a little, uh, intense. Yeah, that's one way to put it. There are laws here and customs. You gotta respect that. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Oh, I got experience in all the right places, if you catch me. Yeah, I caught it, and I tossed it back. You don't seem to give up easily, do you? For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it hey would guys, be illegal and already. immoral. Nothing to say? <laughs> well, blow me down! You know what? Fine. Do what you want. You're not gonna listen to me anyways. But if you take one thing from that wreck, you're gonna make us all criminals. How you feeling? Shouldn't have had that beer. No sweat, Braddy Shack. We be hanging up top, should you care to join? <laughs> yeah, I'll be up as soon as I... <clears throat> Stop puke heaving. Wow, I can't unhear that term. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Oh, hey, guys, 
What, Jesus, why are you so loud? I almost completely forgot. When I was looking at the dive cam, I saw this huge hole in the tail. Kablooey. That's your way into the plane. Oh, nice work, man. Thanks, Conrad. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate, Captain? You need look no further. You just don't give up, do you? Are those two going in or what? Any minute now. All right, kids. Good to go. Just remember the rules, please. This is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. The turret. We can get in through there. dangerous uh ladies first <laughs> can i just take a second to say holy shit alex we did it i mean can you believe it it's a dream come true <laughs> oh, let's not waste any time Julia, leave it. You don't have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? Live a little, Edgelord.
You do something stupid down here, that's it. One chance, you get that? Chill out. I'm fine, see? No problemo. This says it was a rescue plane. Launched from a U.S. base. They were on their way to help out a ship. Bullet holes, all down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God. something wow what the hell happened here a little look at things they knew they were goners he's holding something You hear that? Let's check it out. Want to go first? Uh. Uh. Ah, cheap piece of shit. Gives you lemons. Ew. Pilot and co pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Captain, you fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Sure. Why not? Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself, and I thought, 
maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. It would be my singular pleasure to help you part with your money. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. Wow. That is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Hey there. How's it hanging? You can monitor the dive while I do some boat maintenance. Not a problem, Bob. I'm serious. You can't fuck around with this stuff, Conrad. Do it for real or don't do it. Yeah, totally. I got you. Serious. Rich kids can just up and take a vacation whenever they goddamn please, I guess. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. What do you know about this wreck? Just rumors and theories. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. What got you into World War II? Just stuff I read about in school. Then I found out my grandpa was in the Navy, got lots of medals. I wanted to understand what he'd been through. Got me hooked. You can actually use all those old World War II stories to help them find the sites? Yeah. You know, when they started wreck diving, I realized I could be a pretty good resource. I knew a lot about where, where planes would go, shipping routes. You make a lot of connections. Alex and Julia have done a lot of dives, but I gotta say, Finding this plane takes the cake. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. I keep these around. Howdy, Captain. How's the sea? 
big and blue. And how's the sky? Brighter than you. Boom! Game, set, match. Uh-huh. What's that about? Fishing boat, from the looks of it. How should we handle this? This feels off. Just be quiet and don't say anything stupid, okay? Here, you see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Let's go. No! I guess they didn't need the money. You are an idiot. What? They left, didn't they? That doesn't make you any less of an idiot. You got a funny way of saying thank you, Conrad. You're a piece of work, Conrad. I'm not all work, I'm a little play too. Are you trying to flirt with me? Is it working? I don't even know what it is. Well, when you think of something, I'll just be over here taking in the view, flirting up a storm. Hashtag wink. Okay, I think they're on their way back up. And I was getting used to it just being you and me. We need to light the grill. Oh, oh, pick me, pick me. You can call me Grill Capitan. You may light the grill, but I will never call you that. Uh, damn, Fliss, I I'm sorry. 